remember, no matter who you support in the primary, when the nominee is chosen, we have all got to come back together and support them.
and we can, it's within our power, guarantee every single solitary American that health care is a right and not a privilege. I will build on the Affordable Care Act, which covered more than 20 million people never covered before, who never had it before. 100 million people with pre-existing conditions now covered. We'll go further. We'll provide a public option, making sure that everyone, everyone, if they don't like the plan they have, can choose the public option. And anyone, anyone who can't afford it will automatically be enrolled, anyone qualifying for Medicaid. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to make sure people have access, access to addiction and mental health services and affordable prescription drugs, which I do provide for. And it's time, it's time we remake the American education system. The fact of the matter is, Republicans say they care about education. My dad used to say, don't tell me what you value, show me your budget, I'll tell you what you value. They clearly do not value education. I would triple the amount of money we spend on Title I, increasing, that is, in distressed districts from 15 to 45 billion a year. It would provide raises for teachers, making sure every child in America, three, four, and five years old, can go to pre-K, preschool, and real school, increasing the prospects of success dramatically. Making sure, making sure that education is available beyond high school. Every single person in the country who wants to go on to a trade school, wants to go on, get a certificate or a community college, it should be free and we can afford it. We can afford it now. Folks, the greatest crisis of our time is climate change. We must begin to get this under control. Ladies and gentlemen, I am meeting a call for a $400 billion increase in funding for alternatives to new science and technology that will bring us down to zero net zero emissions by 2050. And I will immediately, immediately rejoin the Paris Climate Accord, which our administration put together, because the rest of the world is accountable for 85% of the problem, and we need to lead them, and there's no leadership now. Look, our president isn't up to this moment. We all know that where he lacks the moral authority to lead, this president has more in common with George Wallace than George Washington. And ladies and gentlemen, we have 330 million Americans who have to do what this president can't do. Stand together, stand up against, stand up against this god-awful situation we face with his, uh, him as president. Stand up for our best, what our nation believes. We believe in honesty, decency, treating everyone with dignity and respect, giving everyone a fair shot, leaving no one behind, and giving hate no safe harbor, demonizing no one, not the poor, the powerless, the immigrant, the other, and maybe most importantly, leading not by the example of our power, but by the power of our example, as we always have. We've part of something big in ourselves. So, and the American code, it's who we are. And President Trump does not get it. America's an idea, an idea that is stronger than any army, bigger than any ocean, and more powerful than any dictator or tyrant. It gives hope to the hopeless. And, and not only are our values under attack, our very democracy is. We've now learned nothing is guaranteed about democracy. We have to earn it. We have to protect it. We have to fight for it. The most powerful, <coughs> the most powerful idea in the history of the world beats in the heart of the people of this country. It beats in all of us. The American creed. We hold these truths self-evident that all men and women are created. We, the people, we're the most unique experiment in all the history of the world. And ladies and gentlemen, the genius of every generation up to this one with this president of every generation as we open our arms wider and wider to include more and more people in that art. That's why, and that's why it's never gathered just in our history books. It's still alive today, more than 200 years after its inception. We cannot, and I will not, let this man be re-elected president of the United States.